What we're looking at here is a number of addresses inside the Freedom K64 board. These addresses that you find here represent RAM addresses. And what you're going to find in RAM when you first power up RAM is it's going to be full of random values. Now when you want to declare a variable such as a char, and what it does is it puts a box around one of these addresses, but the address will itself contain a random value. If you declare a short, it's going to put a box around two addresses and contain 16 bits of information. If you then declare a long, it's going to put a box around, but whatever variable that you're going to declare, whether it's char, short, or long, it's going to already have contents that are made up of random values. Now if we want, we can actually double click here. And if we start typing in things like 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, and hit enter, we can see that this 41, 42, 43, 44, 45 has become capital A, B, C, D, and E. So RAM is changeable, but when the power goes out, all the information is lost. So one of the things that you'll find about RAM when you start putting variables in, this could be an array here, an array of characters. It could be digitized values that came from an A to D converter being put into an array here. So RAM itself, when you start examining it, is just a storage area. This is where your variables go. And you can look at it through a utility on Kinetis Design Studio that we're doing here called a memory browser and take a look at memory. You can even change RAM memory, but this is stuff that's way under the hood and we don't usually concern ourselves with these details when we do our programming.